welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Joining us now is Lacey Sangren and Kennedy Beals with Ballet Midwest. Good morning, Good guys. Good morning. Kennedy, you look wonderful right Thank now. You. Thank you for coming all dressed up. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys will be performing Sleeping Beauty on Saturday and Sunday at the Topeka Performing Arts Center. Tell us about the show. What's What's I mean, we, it seems like we all know Sleeping Beauty, but please tell us more. Yes, so <coughs> yes, Saturday night and Sunday afternoon are the traditional full-length ballet, which is just a fantastic classic. It's one of the true just charms of ballet. It um, does follow the storyline of Sleeping Beauty, um, but Disney took a few leniencies <laughs> with it. So uh, we have the true traditional story of Carabos bestowing the death threat over the baby and the lilac fairy swooping in and saving the day with the sleep everyone waking up to a giant party and wedding at the end so it's just a true wonderful story we also have our children's ballet on Saturday afternoon at 1.30, and that is our shortened narrated version of The Sleeping Beauty. So it's a great uh, way for the youngest audience members to still get to enjoy the classic. That's, I, I, I love that there's like this little kids version with, <laughs> with the narrator and shortened, yeah. because I mean, for even the adults, the ballet, it's such a um, almost magical kind of way to storytell, just physically dancing around. How, how do you even go about putting the show together like that. I'm always fascinated to hear that. <laughs> oh, well, it's just, it's so much fun to get to work on the choreography. When you take away voices, being able to say the story on stage, having to go above and beyond with all of the uh, physicality and the movements, and it's just so beautiful when you get it put together in the right way. And I think this one in particular is just truly a stunning, um, exemplary um, way of doing ballet. <laughs> Absolutely. And Kenny, you're playing Aurora, the title character over here how how do you prepare for this kind of role um, a lot of practice <laughs> it's good to watch other videos of other like professional ballet companies doing it to kind of get into character but yeah just a lot of practice <laughs> and how long have you guys been practicing for this show um, auditions were at the end of January and we started in February doing rehearsals and ready for this weekend Wow, wow. It, it sounds like it's gonna be such a wonderful show and with the music wise Sometimes, you know, with classical with classical shows like this, maybe um, the audience are familiar with any of the songs. Is there anything that maybe people will know, or is it we just kind of going in just the Sleeping Beauty story? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'd say the Garland Dance is probably yes. one of the most recognizable, because mm -hmm. that one is in the Disney movie as well, <laughs> um, that theme song in there. But there's so many um, different tempos, different liveliness in there that you'll really be drawn into every second of the music as well. Absolutely wonderful. And again, tell us the times for the shows because we have uh, Saturday and Sunday, we is the adult show and a tea pack. What times are those at? Yes, yeah. So our full length ballets are Saturday night at 7 30 and Sunday at 1 30. Okay. And children, of course, are welcome to come to that as well. It's just if maybe they're a little too wiggly uh, <laughs> for the uh, full length, they're a little bit too young for that. I know my one and a half year old enjoyed it last year going to the children's ballet very much so. Um, and then that one is on Saturday at 1 30. Kyler Carpenter is opening that uh, children's ballet up with some music and songs along with it and then there's a giant party afterwards with balloon animals, face paint, all kinds of crafts and fun activities for the kids to really get them into the theater and ballet experience. I almost want to go to the kids show <laughs> now. That sounds like a blast. It's a lot of fun for our young audience members and then of course you can't beat the full classical ballet of Sleeping mm -hmm. Beauty. So like the difference between the kids and the adult one, like, is the is the dancing and performing any different? Is it different choreography or is it still the same but just like as we said earlier, shortened? It's the same, just a okay. little bit shorter, not all parts of it, but yeah. Okay, I, I'm pretty excited for this one. I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to check it out this weekend. Yes, well, I hope you are able to make it. It's, it's yeah, truly going to be a fantastic weekend. Wonderful. All right, well, hey, thank you guys so much for joining us today. This has been an absolute pleasure. Again, Kennedy, you look wonderful. Almost thank want you, you to stand up and maybe show <laughs> off the whole thing if you can. I can, yeah. There we go. Look at that right there. This You'll see this on Saturday and Sunday at the Topeka Performing Arts Center. Thank you guys again for joining us. And if you guys want to learn more about Ballet Midwest, you can go to BalletMidwest.net and get tickets for Cinderella at TopekaPerformingArts.org.